Adam Lerner, and today we are back in Lightroom and we're going to talk about some, maybe some advanced workflow basics that can really help to save you guys time. These are great time savers. These are great workflow enhancements. This is stuff that I do all the time and I really want to share this with you because I think it's really super cool. So here we go. I shot a wedding recently, um, shot tons and tons of images. Um, but I selected this grouping of eight. If you look in, if we go into grid mode, you can see that these images were all shot, you know, about the same way, okay? This one on, on the upper left here, I've edited. That's why it's a little sharper. It's got a little bit of warmth to it. It's got some, some more punch to it because that's my edited image. However, these other seven images, they were all shot basically the same way. They were shot pretty much at the same ISO, the same f-stop, the same metering, etc., etc. So what I want to do here is I want to basically take the settings, the edit settings that I put into this image, and I want to synchronize those settings to this image and this image and so on and so forth, okay? So the way that we want to do that basically is we want to select the image that we've edited and then we're going to select the additional images and synchronize those settings, those edit settings across all of those images. Incredible time saver right there because you've got all those images shot in the same sort of way. Why not just apply the edit settings to the one, to the rest of them, save you guys time. You're gonna find, you're gonna go out there, you're gonna shoot, you might do a portrait session, you might just be out and about shooting landscapes, whatever it might be. If you've got groupings of images that you think were shot very similarly, you can save yourself a ton of time by editing one and then synchronizing those settings across you know, one or more you know, uh, of your additional images that you have in your library. So here we go. So I'm going to select this one image and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to select the end image so that all of the images in my film strip are now selected. Okay. I'm going to hit command shift and S that brings me up to the synchronized settings dialogs box. I'm going to check none for the time being so we can quickly go through this. Now in this image, I did a bunch of quick edits. I did white balance. I did basic tone, tone curve, clarity, sharpening, color treatment, color. I did, um, let's see. And I did post crop vignetting. I didn't touch split toning, local adjustments, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not going to select those. And you have to also be careful because local adjustments, brush adju adjustments, graduated filters, those are specifically, those are typically image specific. So it's going to be quite rare unless your framing was absolutely identical that you're going to want to synchronize those. But we'll, we'll get at that into an, you know, we'll get into that another time. That's going to be the same thing for cropping. Unless your framing was almost identical to synchronize cropping across a bunch of frames, you're going to probably get some weird stuff because it's going to take the cropping you did to that one and apply it to the, to the other frames. So here we've got the basic edit settings and I'm going to hit synchronize. Boom. Now let's look at the film strip here and look at that. Film strip is nice and warm. It's nice and sharp. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to look at this image here and I'm going to go across these images and we can see that these settings that I had in that first image are all copied across each consecutive image right here okay so this is a huge time saver even though these images were shot you know maybe at a different angle or some were shot vertically horizontally they all were shot relatively the same and therefore synchronizing the settings from that one that I edited across all the rest of them is a tremendous time saver. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, email me at adamlearnerphoto at gmail.com. That's it for now, and we'll see you soon.